If you want to learn how to cut out part of an image or how to fill text with an image in Adobe Illustrator, you definitely can't miss this video. Hey guys, it's Jerome from Illustrator How. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn everything about clipping mask in Adobe Illustrator. I will talk about what is a clipping mask and when to use clipping mask. So if that sounds interesting to you, please keep watching this video. So a clipping mask is a shape that masks any object below it. So it only shows the image below the shape that you create. Okay, so let's take a look at a quick example here. Um, I have this bird image, a red bird. And uh, for example, if I want to clip it within a certain shape, I will be creating a shape on top of this image and make a clipping mask that only shows the bird. So for example, I'm going to create a circle. I mean, depending on the shape that you want to clip the image, um, you can choose different shape tools. For example, the ellipse tool, the rectangle tool, star tool, or if you want to cut your image into a custom shape, you will be using the pen tool. I'm going to show you both examples. So first of all, uh, let's say that I want to clip it into a circle. So I will be selecting the ellipse tool and create a circle on top of this image. If you have your fill color selected, it's going to show probably something like this. That's totally normal, don't worry about it. And then all you need to do is select both image. I mean, select the, the shape and the image. And there are a couple ways that you can make a clipping mask. I mean, if you're using the latest version, you have the make clipping mask option on the quick actions, the properties panel. Otherwise, you can right click and choose make clipping mask or you can use the keyboard shortcut command and seven to make a clipping mask. Okay, so there you go. You have clipped the image um, into a circle. If you want to adjust the area that's uh, visible, you can double click and then move around to adjust the area. And once you have adjusted your area, simply double click again outside of the clipping mask and you will be back to the normal mode. How about if you want to cut this image into a custom shape? In this case, you'll be using the pen tool. I'm going to just show you a quick example here. So select the pen tool. If you are not familiar with the pen tool, you can um, watch my video talking about how to use a pen tool in Adobe Illustrator. And um, yeah, anyways, I'm just going to create a random path here to cut out the bird image like this. And if you want to see the path, you can uh, always choose the fill color and then exit. Choose the selection tool and select both. And use the keyboard shortcut. That's my favorite method since it's faster to make a clipping mask. There we go. Besides cutting an image into a custom shape, uh, you can also use the clipping mask to fill text with an image in Adobe Illustrator. So I'm just going to show you a very quick example here. So if you want to fill text with an image in Adobe Illustrator, all you need to do is add text and then create a clipping mask. Select type tool, go ahead and add text to Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to type text and then I'm going to obviously resize the text and make it um, depending on what part of the image you want to show on the text uh, you can adjust the position obviously you can directly select both and then create a clipping mask however i do recommend you to uh, make the text an object before making a clipping mask so go ahead and select the text and uh, create a text outline using the keyboard shortcut shift command and o Obviously, you can also create an outline by right-clicking on the text and choose Create Outlines. And another step that you need to do is select the text, go to Object, and choose Compound Path and Make, or use a keyboard shortcut, Command and 8. You will see the text right now. You can add a few colors so then you see uh, where you are moving. And then go ahead and select both and use the same keyboard shortcut to create a clipping mask, Command and 7. That's it. And same thing, if you want to move around the, the area that's filling the text, you can double click on the text and uh, move around the area. And once you are done, double click again on the artboard 
and you can use it as you want. If you are interested to learn more about how to make a clipping mask in Adobe Illustrator, I do have an article um, with the detailed steps and different methods to make a clipping mask. So if you are interested to read more, you can find the link in the description below. All right, so I hope you already have a better understanding of what a clipping mask is in Adobe Illustrator and know how to use it. Um, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel.